All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today I just wanted to do a video on me ranking every single banner in 2023. I haven't really done anything like this, and I finally figured out how I can get the actual full image of a banner into tier list, uh, the tier maker. So that's also a handicap that I had. But yeah, basically we're going to be ranking it kind of based off uh, my personal preference of the characters and how good uh, the entire banner is. Not including the fillers, because I'm not remembering what the fillers were. Uh, but the main three characters. So, for example, I'm going to get this right off the bat. Where is it? Um, this banner is the worst banner of the entire year, in my opinion. Neliel, I think, feels atrocious to play. Xylopro, I don't believe, has any use in the entire game. And Noitora, I, I swear, uh, he was usable in the GQ when he had burn. But now there's like freeze on the floor so you have to give him freeze resistance i could be wrong but either way he's only like somewhat useful in gq so that's like probably my least favorite banner of the entire year besides maybe this one this one is also pretty bad but this one right here is a mid month this one is an end of month but i guess the way you could look at it is they were making you save for uh end of month swimsuits so that's kind of nice still awful banner so yeah, that's kind of how I'm ranking it. Comment down below your three favorite banners of the entire year. Kind of curious. Uh, but yeah, let's hop right on and, do, and we'll just go through the line. So we have Macy, Bruno, and Balgo. And to be honest, uh, I wasn't doing content at the time, but I think that this banner was absolutely insane. I easily would, I think I easily went uh, 7,000 orbs, I want to say. Uh, I went 35 sets for one Bruno. So the summoning experience, awful. But the banner hype, was crazy cool. I love the designs. I think they're all really cool looking. I think they're all still extremely usable today. That was like the only one that's like kind of falling off, kind of, but he's still easily the second best potion farmer. If you think Ikaku is better, I, I still prefer Balgo, but I see why people like Ikaku more. That's fine. I still think it's an S tier banner because th these two characters are some of the most usable characters for their G for their GQ weeks. They're also extremely broken in limit breaker. They're also extremely potent in IT. And that's basically the only place that you ever are going to use them, really. Like, I mean, you can use them in, like, uh, you know, uh, point of it and stuff. But still, exceptional characters. That, that, that's all I have to really say. Uh, now, this banner, at release, it was literally just Momo being a Link. Uh, but nowadays, because I'm just going to compare it to, like, you know, right now. Uh, should I? I think I will. I think I will. I'll, I'll compare it to nowadays as I, at the time of recording this. And kind of, like, if I regret summoning on them. I don't believe I went past step two. I doubt I even summoned on this. But uh, the Izuru, I don't believe has like any use. I want to say he's extremely bad or he's a drop up farmer or something. I could definitely be wrong. I don't care though. He's useless. Uh, but the Shuhei is actually a very good uh, character for the Arankar week. Uh, what unit is it? Uh, it's when you want to use a mind character. I want to say it's the seventh anniversary Ichigo uh, Arankar week. In GQ, he makes him extremely good, so that's pretty good. And then Momo is a uh, plus five potion character link, which she's the second of that kind. So I'll put it a nice B, and I might move them up and down, by the way, as we go on. So keep that in mind. Uh, now, Quilgi, Bambietta, and Eburn. Now, for me, I think I genuinely like all three of the characters. I like that Eburn got a character. I said that frame one as soon as I saw him. Uh... Because I think what they're doing is they're kind of making every single thousand you know, Blood Rare banner have two units that carry the hype. And then one unit that are like, okay, but why are they there? You know, like me personally, I liked Eber, but the, that, the vast majority of people did not like Eber. Uh, the other banner, uh, I don't think a lot of people really liked Chojuro on this banner. And then a lot of people, I don't think really cared for this version of Kirio on the banner uh and then i think a lot of people also just did not really care for orihime on this banner i like orihime but it is a bit odd that she joined you know from her core one i don't mind it but it's, it still is a bit odd uh but i think that's what caleb is going to do for every single end of month banner uh but yeah so in my opinion i i think it's either an a or an s tier but like i mean eburn is still a very good potion character he's not like awful he's i still think he's uh is he better than you i don't know about that one actually I will put in Esther for now, and I might bump it down. I'll put it because cool game Bambiera. Uh, I mean, Bambiera is not like as broken. Yeah, I'll put in a cool game is hard carrying the banner to be honest. Like Bambi is very good for uh, range captain week, but other than that, 
I have not used her anywhere else. I, I won't lie. Like, I, autoing? No. She, that SA2 is atrocious. If it was a Vortex, perfect. But it, it, it is not that. Uh, now, swimsuit males, I think it was very cool. I like that they're doing this. They should just make it where there's two end of month type swimsuit banners. I do think we need that. We need an end of month type. Uh, even if it's dropped in mid month, treat it like an end of month banner uh, for male characters because there are a lot of people that like men i know some people like 50 percent of the world it's crazy um they're, they aren't they're okay jushiro kind of has that same thing going on uh like akon i don't think it's like shuhei i want to say it's a bit different but it could be exactly like shuhei either way he's a pretty good uh bonus in gq like as a side character and he's a potion character uh Byaku is the link so i think it's like a B tier, just kind of like supporting characters, nothing like ludicrous or anything, but it's a pretty good banner overall. Uh, I don't recommend summoning on it, especially because it's a mid month, but hey, it is what it is. I think they definitely add some value to your account. Uh, this banner, I'll just say, it, I think it's easily one of the best banners. I, I don't know if it's the best banner, but it is definitely one of the banners of the year. Um, Yuha, easily best mind character in the entire game. Absolutely love that guy big old mustache man not a fan of the the character model but that's besides the point uh, ichigo looks amazing i like his model i prefer the older one but that is it is what it is it's more anime accurate um and i think he's very very good or he made very toxic brave battle character but uh i believe people are countering her countering her with uh the thousand year blood war chad and me personally cannot uh kill the old speed chad the defense chad the where she, it's like the one that got resurrected recently. Yeah, I can't beat him. Uh, my Orihime can't do damage to him. So that's also a, a small counter, I guess, if you go full defense. Uh, but still, very top tier banner. Easily a must summon, in my opinion, unless you just don't care for the characters. Either way, moving on to this banner, the Christmas mid-month banner. So we had Neliel, Grimjo, and Yachiru. Also, I just realized this. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit more just so it's a bit more zoomed in. I just realized it's a bit zoomed out. Um... Yachu is a very good drop-up farmer, but that's really all she is, unfortunately. Uh, she has pretty good damage, but other than that, it's like, okay. Nelio, exceptional nag character. I believe everybody is just like, that's used her, and that I've seen people use her, because I, I didn't summon. I think I got Yachu in one step, and I dipped. Um, but Nelio is the second best nag character in the entire game, so that's awesome. Very nice. Would love to see more nag characters actually be usable. Uh, and then Grimjo is a good potion character. He's a plus 10 heart link slot potion character because i believe he's mind so there's that so i i i would probably put this at an eight tier banner i still think it's a very good banner um but then it's like putting it next to uh, quilgy and bambi is kind of crazy but for right now we'll put it there maybe it'll bump down to b but right now we'll just put it right next to it because it's so much better than this these banners easily all right, and here it is, probably the best premium banner of the year, even including Anniversary, to be honest, considering there are three characters that are meta. I guess Ishin isn't, like, extremely meta, but he's still very good in Brave Battles. Um, Quincy Ichigo re renewed version is probably... I'll let you guys argue, but either the number one or number two best technique character in the entire game. Uh, Quincy Ichigo... Or, not Quincy. Tensa is the second best speed potion farmer in the entire game, but he's also premium. So, you know, if you get more dupes on him than uh, Senjumaru, or you just sit, skip Senjumaru because you already have Tensa, then you're fine. Uh, still an absolutely exceptional character. So, I think I'm going to... I don't know. I mean, Ishin is a PvP character. All three of these characters are PvE. I, I, I meant Bray Battles, not PvE. Uh, these three are all uh, PvE, like GQ and whatnot. I think it holds more value than a brave battle character and we have a farmer and they have two top tier dps's for their category so i think this one edges it out a bit more and it's uh, a limited banner so you know it's more rare to summon for that banner like it's they, they come back less often it's a higher chance to pull these cards from tickets than you know summoning on this banner you know what i mean you, you probably get it you probably get it all right this banner um, I think it has zero value. Like, the Yama is actually pretty decent. Uh, the Stark is just a Link, but even now, even in GQ, uh, you mainly want Recharge Link, so it's kind of just a very bad unit to summon on, unfortunately. Uh, they dropped, like, two of them, like, back-to-back, 30% -back, full stamina damage links, and then immediately swapped it to very hard GQ. So that was unfortunate. I did summon. I regret every single multi that I ever did. Uh, the Lina, Arena character. Cool. Easy done. Uh, very bad, honestly, uh, even... 
I'll put it above. That's, there we go. Uh, now this banner, the Orihime Manor banner, uh, I think it's a very good banner. Uh, obviously the only stinker is Yumachika, but he's still a potion farmer. Orihime is an exceptional uh, GQ side character, one of the best, easily like probably the best support character in the entire game if I had to guess, right? if I had to say. Uh, and then Sun Sun is a very good link. I think she's a mediocre potion farmer, but she's an exceptional link. So it allows you to use characters like the end of year Ichigo, Concord Ichigo, Sixth Anniversary Aizen, uh, the Quilgi, and potions, or Bruno even. So there you go, boom. I think it's a uh, A tier banner. Obviously, we might move it down. You never know. I think there are a lot of good banners this year. I'm not going to have a limit set on each tier uh, like I do for uh, my top tier characters, but yeah. Uh, this banner, um, Ichigo is okay. He's a decent potion character for epic raids. I don't remember her having any use. Now, maybe there's some niche thing for, like, droplets or something. I don't remember what she exactly does, but I've never seen anyone use her besides Cowboy. And, uh, he's a, ru a Rukia simp, so that's why. And then, this Renji is a very good side, uh, GQ character. At the time, it was whatever, because you were basically just soul bombing and nuking an entire room. But now, he has that amazing shield, he has an amazing boost, so it's pretty good. But, two mediocre characters, um... I'm, I'm gonna put in C tier, personally, personally, but I mean, it's like, I did put Momo here, but that link allows you to bring a farmer or a DPS and clear faster than just using this Ichigo and Epic Ridge, which isn't even that amazing. So, I mean, you, you can debate it. I would rather put it in C tier, though. You, yeah, that, that, that's how I go on. Uh, anniversary, I think, is very, very good. I love the Ichigo. I'm an Ichigo fanboy, you know? I, I, I believe in the GOAT. <laughs> He uh, is one of my favorite characters in the game because of his auto wing capabilities, and he also performs very well. And Limit Breaker, the last one, granted, it could definitely be a skill issue. Um, I was using a character, I want to say it was Quilgy. I got to wave 7 to 25 or 26, and then with this Ichigo, I got like one stage or the exact same stage, and he's only 1 out of 5. Just like my Quilgy. So, you know, still exceptional character. White, very, very good mind character. I think he's number two, if I'm remembering correctly. Number two best mind character in the entire game. I still think he's the better nuker. Um, but obviously, it's like nuking is kind of dead. Uh, you can nuke like the final room of an IT, but that's really all you'll ever end up nuking. Uh, but he's still a very, very good character. Ichigo is a very consistent DPS character, and I, I really enjoy that. Uh, you don't have to worry about proccing your SP boosts, uh, but... It is unfortunate that he did not get the SP boost. So if you want to bump it down to A tier, I can understand. Especially because there are only two. It's also a premium banner. But I think I will uh, put it here. I think it'll end up being at the bottom of S tier. But I think it still think it was a very, very good banner to summon on. But yet again, it's kind of your point of view. Do you like summoning, summoning for uh, anniversary banners when it's only a 7-step format? So actually, 7-step format... I completely forgot. I haven't even taken into account pity or anything, so I'll drop it down to A tier. I'll drop it down to A tier simply because there's like there was no pity, none of that stuff. I don't think it really applies to any of these. But like the seven step fan, uh, banner format was atrocious, and I hated it. Um, Unahana, I want to say had the twenty five step banner format. I'm probably wrong, but I'm gonna say it did. Um, probably one of the best banners of the entire year. Probably the only one to compete uh, with this banner. Now, granted, we have a farmer versus a PvP character. Um, I mean, I think it's fighting with these three. These three are probably the best banners of the entire year. Because, uh, insane, really good farmer. Uh, just doesn't have IT potions. If he had super potions, he would probably be number one. Uh, Yama was the best raid battle character. Number two right now. Yashiro is still the best speed character in the entire game if i have to say uh macy is second to be honest so i mean you could definitely like switch them around or whatnot but i'm gonna go off my preference and i'm gonna go with this because uh, it's a pvp character and then a potion character i don't really like farming with granted this is a pvp character but it has two powerhouses in the banner you know what i'm saying uh, i need to speed this up by the way so i'm gonna skip through these awful banners so i don't remember what he does uh tesla i want to say one of these are a a uh, drop of farmer and the other one is a potion farmer. I can't remember which they're basically the same Abirama very good uh, GQ character. So I'm just gonna put them right next to this not gonna really rank it I need to speed through some of these uh, This banner was a pretty good breath uh, breath breath of fresh air because it was a premium banner in between a bunch of seasonals and thousand or bubble banners But unfortunately, I just don't really think that they were all that great I will put them uh, above these two just because I think they all not mm -mm, mm. No. 
Because, like, you don't use these characters anywhere, you know? Like, this is an arena character, if I'm not mistaken. No, Zamari is. And then... I don't even remember what the Yami does, I can't lie. Okiora is a pretty good heart character for a premium character. But, like... No one was summoning for that banner. I did one step and I pulled Ulk and I was like, okay, I'm done. Um, Alright, so let's go to the Swimsuit banner. I think this is an absolute beautiful banner. I love this banner. One of my favorite banners in the entire year. Not just because they're hot women. But plus their potions were introduced. Uh, with Raruka and Mila Rose. Rangiku being one of the best, still the best heart potion farmer in the entire game, in my opinion. Uh... In terms of like super potions because of her pure iron skin and extra damage to non-afflicted element enemies uh ruruka very good farmer for epic raids i like her especially in iz i really like her in iz same thing with mila rose where i actually genuinely really like her and uh i in uh, epic raids uh because i think that's where i mainly farm my regular potions but i kind of just bring senju maru now just because she's a bit easier but obviously that's why she's gonna be higher on the list but before senju maru i was using mila rose over tensa because she was giving me plus five potions and tensa wasn't immune to every status on it so it's kind of just annoying getting uh paralyzed and whatnot by running into the wall all the time uh so i prefer mila rose but obviously i know why he has more damage output but i still like her i still think he's a top tier banner and i think it was definitely worth summoning on unless you were summoned for pole selection because i believe all three of them got in so uh this banner they're okay uh two i want to say this is the uh gq sukashiba the power one because there's a tech one that looks kind of like him and he's the arena one but uh, I believe that these are two G very good GQ characters. Ginjo is going to be a pretty good booster for the Raruka. But I'm not going to really base it off that. I don't know exactly how well they work because I haven't tested them. But uh, I think it's a pretty decent banner. I don't know if... I'll put it smack dab in the middle, I guess. I guess. Just because I don't I don't really want to even rank these three in order. Uh, but I think it's I, I think it's a beats your banner. Very good GQ characters, but nothing other than that. And they're very, like, niche, weeks. And, you know, at the time, it was like, whatever. But nowadays, they're both very good uh, GQ characters. Uh, this banner. This is the main reason I wanted to do this video. I regret ever summoning on this banner. I hate both of these characters. Gein is so cool. Mayuri looks cool. But, dear God, I hate their kits. Nowadays. Mayuri was a very good nuker at the time. He was still iffy. I didn't really like his full Sarn kit, but the way the way he nuked was very nice. Uh, he was out DPSing my 7th anniversary Ichigo at only 2 out of 5 in terms of like just nuking an entire room. It was a bit more RNG though, because uh, I only had Ichigo 3 or 4 out of 5, so that's why. Did I say he was 5 out of 5? I don't remember. But uh, And then Gein, I just don't like. At the time, he was cool and all, but like we literally had Tenso, who was like a thousand times better than him. I would much rather use any of these three characters, um, who was another potion character out of the time. For technique, I mean, for what we got, uh, I mean, we had Uryu. We had Uryu. Uh, he was the year before. I, I still think he's more usable than Gein, to be honest. Uh, but I, I can understand why you like him. But I, 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 I hate this banner so much. It only had two characters. A very disappointing end of month, end of month uh, spirit server with you. I'm being a bit biased towards it. I definitely think it would be higher. But I hate this banner, so I don't care. Um, now, this banner, Dordoni. Saruchi and Gantenbane, plus five links up potion, a uh, epic rage farmer essentially, and then a GQ character. Very good, very good. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I hate this banner. <laughs> I'm gonna put them above it. I don't even care. Uh, Kiryo, Ichibe, and Zenjumaru. I think they're very good units. Uh, Kiryo is a bit disappointing. She's a GQ character. Uh, the only disappointing thing about Zenjumaru is her attribute, and I'm not gonna. I mean, I guess I, I should put that a bit against her because it's like if she was technique or power, I would be farming potions right now. But unfortunately, I'm still using her for uh, farming power potions, which I don't need because I have Tensa. I did not need her. Either way, still an absolutely amazing character. Uh, Ichibe is a very good character. You can fight and say if one of them, if he's better than Quincy Ichigo, that's up to you. It's kind of your own preference. Do you like the gauge mechanics? Do you like proccing the SP boost, etc., etc.? I still think it's a very, very insanely good banner. I'm fighting between A and S tier. Between A and S tier, Kiryu is a good GQ character. Unfortunately, that she's ranged uh, and not like a normal attack damage character. Do I know why? No, not at all. Why is she an SP character? I believe that's the same problem with Byakuya. He's also an SP character. Uh, and then Asna is a very good character as well. Just nothing like ludicrous and saying like Yuha or White. I, I still think he's worse than them. But I want to say he's top three. 
Still? Like, that's still very good. That's still very good, because I want to say he's better than 7th Anniversary Ichigo besides his strong text. His SA2, I don't really like that much. It's like a barrier. It should have had a status element on it. That would have helped a lot. Um, I think this is a low A-tier banner. I just... Two characters. One of them is strictly a GQ character, and I don't even know if he's, like, all that. He could be. I've never used him, but it's like... Eh? I, I, I was just very... Let down by this banner is all I can say. That's all I'll say. Considering we got a mid-month that was better than them a month previous. I'll just rank this one real quick. Uh, Toshra was an exceptional character. Granted, he was uh, going to be way worse when he first initially dropped because his SA3 was a melee, I believe, and he's a ranged character. Thank God they changed that or he would have been an absolute must-skip. But I want to say he's uh, a character for the ranged Captain Week. Possibly. Either way, he's a ranged character for one of his GQ weeks. I can't remember. Uh, and then Halloween Momo, a plus 10 potion link character. And they have the amazing crown summon format. So you could potentially pull them by step 3. Guaranteed one of them at step 10. Beautiful format. Love that format. I never summoned on it because it's a mid-month. But I still think it's an absolutely exceptional banner. Um, probably here. Probably you could you could probably swap these around, but I think they're better than Asnot. I think it's better than Asnot. Obviously, this is a bit of bias coming in. Obviously, that's the that's an entire tier list. It's my personal bias. Uh, I'm trying to somewhat rank it fairly, but this banner made me very upset. Spaghetti. Uh, and now this banner: Rukia, Gin, and Ikaku. I like the visuals. They look amazing. They look so great. But there's just one thing wrong about each one of them for me personally. Uh, so I'll just label this off right now. Ikaku, I don't like his strong attacks. He should have also gotten plus 100% damage to not uh, non-afflicted element enemies. And then just had recharges as a link. That's literally all it should have been. Uh, and then he would have been amazing. Uh, he's still great. He's still great. Probably the best potion farmer. I prefer Balgo because Drain. But uh, he's still an amazing character. Uh, Gin is just a very basic... A uh, Soul Reaper Killer character and his speed. So like Unahana, Tensa, and now also Senju Maru all compete with him. And they're better than him. So unfortunate. And then Rukia has a melee SA2 that cannot inflict freeze. And her entire thing is freeze the enemy, do big damage, and be a ranged character in GQ. She can't really do that with her SA2. It's very cringe. And it's a heal. It's not even like a boost. It's a stupid heal. Like when does Rukia ever have heal? Why would you give that to her? They literally ruined the entire... Like, she would have been the best character for power if they didn't do that. Uh, very unfortunate. So, um, I will put it... Um, I think that's pretty fair. I, I think it's still better than this. Than the Nelly Yell, Grim Joe, and Yachru banner. Uh, yeah. Basically, like... Yeah, I, I think I would. Like, the Ikaku's an amazing farmer. Ruki is an amazing character outside of GQ. Very great character in Limit Breaker. Gin is a good character. Just auto scroll quest. That's what I use him for. Because uh, I believe he has really all affiliation dodges. But I think Bambietta and Kogi are just way better than them. They don't really have any huge lim limitations like the Ruki and whatnot. Uh, just my personal opinion. And now on to Halloween. Uh, I regret summoning this banner entirely. I wish I skipped it. The only... Like, Ninny is very good. Ninny is very good. She's a ranged hollow character, uh, but it's like, I just wish they were better, you know? I want to put them in D tier because I want them to be better, but they were still a good banner. They were still a good banner. Um, my disappointment at Asna is, put it, is telling me to put her, them here. You could probably put them above the GQ characters as well if you really wanted to, but this is how I would personally rank them. I'm kind of curious, where would you rank your favorite uh, banners? of the entire year kind of curious uh i had my little sayings and whatnot um this i'm gonna quickly just look over do i want to rank them in this specific order because any of these other ones it's kind of like eh, whatever i don't really care that much but the top five is uh like this is my most hype banner i love this banner this banner is this banner made me so happy i love this banner uh love this banner too like all the characters are so unique they're just a breath of fresh air as well which is really cool and then yeah yeah i i, I would probably say this for me personally so either way that does it for the video a bit of a rant that's basically all it was but yeah let me know down below what is your top three or five banners of the entire year of 2023 take care hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day and peace out